So it turns out I was mistaken. The next video in the series uh, of the map to Lightroom is not HSL. You'll have to wait for that one. The next video is this one, which is about the export process. How to get the photos from Lightroom uh, to, your, uh, to a, create a new file, and that'll be saved on your computer. So we're going to walk through that process. So here we go. So go to your collection that has the photos you would like to export. And that's over here on the left-hand side of the Lightroom interface. Um, from here, um, what you want to do is just make sure only the photos... Uh, maybe that you, well, the, if you're using the recommended uh, way I'm doing things, you just want to see your rated photos. So we do that down here in the bottom right corner, just above the film strip. Click where it says filters off if they're not currently on and choose the option rated. And that'll just show you your photos that you've given uh, a rating to using the star system. I use five stars and uh, either there's five stars or no stars. So all the photos here, there's 10 of them, have five stars in them. So these are the photos I want to export. They've been edited uh, in Lightroom using the basic panel so far. And uh, we want to get these so I can uh, post them online, share them in social media, or uh, send them via email. Lots of different things we can do with sharing. So here's the process. So before you begin the export process, one of the, th one of the most important things to remember to do is to select all the photos. Uh, so what I need to do is select all these photos. There's multiple ways to do it. The fastest way is to use a keyboard shortcut. So once you have your photos visible on screen, do Command and the letter A on a Mac. Or it would be Control on a PC and the letter A. Control A on a PC. So now all my photos are selected and I can click on the Export button to begin the process. All right, so here's the housekeeping we'll need to do uh, in setup uh, for the export module. One of the nice things about uh, export is once you've got it set up, you only have to do, using this method at least, you only have to change one setting each time you export. So let me show you the setup process first. First, we want to change where the photos get saved to on export. By default, it goes to your desktop, and we would like to go to a specific folder. So we're going to choose that folder in a moment, but right now I also want to turn off put in subfolder. Uncheck that. I'm going to go ahead and finish the setup before I come back and do the choose. So let's go. Uh, I'm not going to do file renaming, file naming here. I'm going to close that. I don't do have any video, so I'm going to close that. File settings. I do want to change that. Uh, we want to go to JPEG for our image format. And the quality I suggest is 90. Uh, by default, that quality setting right here is 60. So please highlight that and change it to 90. Why not 100? Uh, 90 quality setting is, uh, especially since most of these photos are going online uh, as our first destination, that's a perfect setting. It's a good compromise between file size and image quality. If you're sending it to a printer or doing some uh, high quality work, then by all means change the file settings quality to 100. Not a problem. All right, the next section down is image sizing. By default, that's turned off. I would, I do want to resize my photos. Uh, all of our photos are, are very, very large. They're, they're bigger than, uh, than most of us need when we're sharing either on social media or online. So I do want to make the file smaller. It's just a little friendlier and it saves some space and time. So what I do is I do my width and height. That's the, the uh, how I want to resize it. I don't enlarge just in case for some reason my file is already smaller. And then the, the size I would like you to enter here is 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. So the width will be 2,000 if that's the maximum um, dimension, or the height will be. And then whatever is the other dimension will scale proportionally. The resolution we can leave alone at 240. We'll do a separate uh, video or a lecture on resolution. Uh, output sharpening, um, go ahead and you can turn that on if you want. Uh, for screen, that's not a, a bad idea. It'll just, uh, as the files get a little, as the 
As the photo is resized smaller, it does lose a, get a little softer, so a little sharpening for that will just uh, tighten things up just a little bit. Uh, metadata we can leave alone, and the watermarking we're not going to do, and no other post-processing. So basically, once you've got this set up, the only thing you need to do each time you export is click up here at the top on the Choose button. Where do I save my photos? So click on Choose. And then um, I recommend, uh, just to, again for ease of use right now, to start at your desktop and then go uh, create a new folder that will contain all your original fo photos. I mean all your, excuse me, all your edited photos. So this is the edited photos, the exports. I'm calling it exports because this is the uh, task we're doing. So I'm going to create that. And then don't get confused with imports. That's where our original photos are. So uh, on my, in the exports folder, I also want to create a new folder for this set of photos. So new folder, and this is the nature project. So we'll just call it nature. We'll create that. And now the photos, the edited photos, when they're uh, exported from Lightroom, when the changes are applied to the original, they will go to this location. So once I've chosen all my photos and uh, chosen the location where they're going to go, it's simply a matter of clicking on the export button and waiting for the process to complete. On the top left corner of Lightroom, you'll see a progress bar. Uh, depending on how many photos you have and uh, how large a file size they are, uh, this will take anywhere from a moment or two to uh, maybe a minute or two per photo, depending on how uh, complex the original photo is. So this is all you got to do. Just wait for this to finish. And then uh, the next video of, after this, for reals, will be um, the, uh, how to upload these photos to Flickr. So now that we've got them off Lightroom Island, if you will, we can now share them and uh, we will share them on Flickr. So if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below or send me an email and I'll be happy to help you with them. Thank you.